what it do? This is your girl Tina Bop. What's happening? What's up, y'all? <laughs> Did you miss me, though? What's up? What's happening? I'm talking to my females out there. Like, I care. I give zero fucks about a nigga missing me. I'm talking to my females out there. Did you miss Tina Bopper, though? I mean, at this point. <laughs> what's up, y'all? First of all, happy Easter. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all my Easter speech, okay? Don't judge me, okay? Pin my Easter speech. Jesus wept. It worked, okay? That shit worked when you was a child. Y'all know. Y'all already know. If y'all don't know, I'm gonna let y'all know something. If your Easter speech was the one that said Jesus wept, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you was kind of one of the slow kids. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's frowned upon or not, but like you was one of the slow kids. They already knew. FYI was my brother. <laughs> Y'all, my brother every year said Jesus wept because the people in the church already knew, okay? You give him too many words, the, it's going to get messed up, okay? He not, you know, girls regularly study their Easter speech because, like, wrong about Easter time. Let me tell y'all how Easter was for us. I don't, I, I mean, I can't say for everybody. I can't say everybody Easter was the same experience. Let me tell you how Easter was for us. When it was time for Easter, bitch. We used to come through. Like when I tell you, look here. Bitch, I ain't have birds uh, uh, 364 days of the year. But you motherfucking bet on Easter, bitch. I got balls. I have birds. I have rubber bands. I have clucker balls. I have hair grease. Bitch, all types of shit. My hair is laid for like the year. You know, like, people be talking about Christmas nine days. Girl, fuck. No. Back then, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Y'all, it was Easter. Easter used to be a girl's shining motherfucking star. If you don't know, I'm going to put you on game. Y'all, when it was Easter time, let me tell you, you get a new dress. I already told y'all I have. Like, first of all, bitch, the worst was Easter. What was that? The damn, uh, uh. Uh, uh, the night before Easter. How did, how did that thing go? The night before Easter, wasn't nothing stirring through the house? Not even a mouse? Bitch. The night before Easter? Bitch. My mama got that hot comb on the stove. Look here. Let me set the scene for you. Okay, we're in a wood house. Boom, bam. Okay? We're in a wood house. I'm setting the scene now. Mind your business. I'm setting the scene. We're in the wood house and we're in the back part of the house with the kitchen. Okay. So, and then my mom is sitting in a wooden kitchen chair. Okay. I'm sitting on the floor in between my mama's legs. You hear me now? Can you, can, 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 can you hear me now? Okay. So, I'm sitting on the floor in between my mama's legs. Y'all, she's sitting directly like if she do this, the stove is right here. This lady, who the fuck gave these people hot combs? Who? Who? That shit was a weapon and our mamas was using that shit against us. If there was ever a time that I would call D Okay, it's been a couple of times that I would have called DHR, if you know. They was on our team back then. But um, if it was ever a time, y'all... That you need to call for help, bitch. 911, bitch, help me. My mama is burning the fuck out of me with this shit. She got sitting on the stove. She taking this direct heat right off the stove.
toe and putting this shit to my scalp. Bitch, help me. Help me. That would be the sound of a six-year-old girl sitting in between her mama's legs at the store if we had cell phones back then. We didn't have cell phones. We couldn't call for help. Girl, on the way I was going to get up from in between my mama's legs to go call. Girl, she bad. Let me get up to go. You should have used it before I got started. <sighs> Y'all, this lady burned me so many ways from fucking Sunday that at this point, there's nothing. You cannot sell me on Easter. Girl, you can't sell me on Easter. I'm like, F Easter. You, the whole situation. Like, you know, a lot of times we take, like a lot of people take their traditions and they pass them on to their kids. Bruh, look here. If I would have passed on my mama Easter tradition to my kids, girl, look here. DHR would have been had custody. It would have been a whole other thing. I would have probably been out there marching with the people at the youth center because the judge been a game of... Girl, I'm telling you. Tell Anyway, but for a, long, a young girl growing up in, uh, uh, bam, getting your hair done for motherfucker, like that was not like you got your hair done, bitch. You had a popping dress, bitch. I like pink. Bitch, my Easter dress used to always, bitch. I used to be like this. <laughs> Couldn't tell my ass nothing, girl. My dress was either white or pink, but it used to always be so beautiful. Like a girl just felt like a mother freaking queen on Easter. Like that was your moment to be a princess. Back then, like everybody got dressed up. The boys got their hair cut. I don't know if it only happened once a year because I wasn't old enough to really pay attention. But it seemed like all the boys in my neighborhood never got their hair cut except for on Easter. And then they had a lineup. Other than that, they had that little fro that used to grow from here to there. I, the only time I seen it where it was a haircut, it was on Easter. I'm just saying. So, y'all. If y'all remember, if y'all Easter was anything like mine, hit the thumbs up. Like, that's the only thing. If your Easter was nearby close to mine, hit the thumbs up. If it wasn't, do not hit that button. Don't touch my buttons. Don't touch my buttons. If yours was nothing like mine, don't touch no button. If you don't know that struggle, don't touch no button. I'm trying to do a head count. I'm trying to see who here. Who here with me. So, yeah, y'all. Happy Easter. I know I'm a little bit late, but this is Tina Bopper. All the way live, coming back after Easter um, Tuesday. So stay tuned. Every Tuesday at 5 p.m., we will have a <gasps> Tina Bopper All the Way Live moment. So y'all get to, you know, talk to me. Come and talk to me. Y'all it. Y'all get it. But yeah, y'all, was y'all Easter good? Did y'all eat good? What y'all did? What y'all did on Easter? What y'all did? Talk to me. Let's talk. So, yeah, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. And now I'm finna take y'all to, I mean, so y'all see how my Easter went. Because, duh, everybody want to see how everybody Easter went. So, since I don't post pictures as often as I should, I'm working on that. I'm working on getting somebody to take my pictures. Because it's, it be the concept that it's me taking a picture. It's just like... Bruh, I can't have it. It'd be too much work to get a picture. So I'm working on that and just know. So, yeah. Y'all ready for an inside look at my Easter? And I don't know. <laughs> Here it goes. It's hot. I'm hot already. Really? Yeah. Really? I ain't got many churn out here though. I just want to get a picture of everything a little bit. Yeah, huh? Oh, we on the wrong side, I can tell you that. I ain't really nothing going on out here. What's up? What's happening? 
what it do, y'all. We out here at Municipal Park. They got like something for the kids or whatever. But like, I don't know. I guess the kids ain't coming out. But I don't know. They got a bounce house. They got a, what that is? A basketball thing. They got like a jumping house. Then that's a little basketball thing. And then this long ass line that stretched all the way back here. They got popcorn. <laughs> so I guess they got they got popcorn and I don't know, but it's a long ass line. I don't see nobody. Okay, they giving away popcorn. That's it. Um, that's all I see. So you gonna be the cameraman while we walk back through. Yeah, my cousin gonna be the cameraman. So if any, if you see Camera anything, woman. oh yeah, camera woman. If you see anything I don't see, you let me know. But y'all, yeah, we finna walk through this thing just like a quick walk through, so we can be real, real nosy, real, real quick. <laughs> Show him. He got his little thing out here. Whatever his name. What's his name? Derek Williams. I ain't into politics, so I don't know who Derek Williams is. I don't know if he's black, white. I don't know what he represents. So I guess we'll see. Then they got a DJ right there, but but I can hear myself talking, so it ain't loud enough at all. I'm right here by the DJ, and I can hear myself. <laughs> so if you by the DJ and you can hear yourself, think. <laughs> They got um horses over here. Now I don't know where the shit goes. I don't know how it happens. But they do got horses over here you can ride. Um let's go see do the horses look like they've been fed. <laughs> we got a little puppy doggy. He cute. Oh that one look like he been fed. Look like they from the police department. <laughs> So they go one of little little horses, you know, you know. They go a little albino horses, you know. Now I guess they walking through the park. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe just these two horses, just two. Yeah, I guess cause they go the horse cage house, whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah, and then you got people set up separately. That was happy birthday. Also, see the people set up right there. They ain't even got nothing to do with them. They just out here celebrating their birthday. Um, yeah, it's a little quiet. So, but we around the city, so we finna go to the next spot. And see what's popping. Watch popping. Oh, we got a little. Throw it out there that I like Cabbage Patch Doll. We, we just ain't, hey, it just is what it is. I thought Cabbage Patch Dolls was fucking cute. <laughs> this is terrible. We just gonna hump it. Maybe, they say you get that quicker than you can. Something they said we finna learn today. <laughs> Just parking lot where people smoke your weed before you go up there to the thing where your kids. I don't know. Don't ask me. What's up? So now part two. Part two. We in Baltimore. So I don't know. I don't know if it's me. My cousin think it's me that I'm getting that. It's what time? Okay. It's like 4:10 and then it started at like three. 
Yeah. This one started at the Maybe they started early. I don't know, but it ain't to me. It ain't like it ain't a lot of kids like it should be. So I'm gonna just let y'all see what this part looking like. Oh yeah, that kind. Yeah, that kind. Yeah, yeah it, it's just like ain't that many kids out here, but let's go look at the Tina Bobby have to talk this kind of a thing, you know. Y'all know they don't want us to talk, but we talking any damn way. Y'all know they be like, <laughs> you a female, hush. You know, like, they muted us for so long. Well, bitch, we got a voice now, and we are saying whatever the f we want to say. I, I just be talking. But y'all, this is what I want to say. 
I want to let everybody know out there, women, men, kids, young adults, everybody. Like, I know a lot of people, like, the holidays, hmm, like, the holidays to me are meant for the kids. Like, a lot of things that we say, we talk about, or that we that we do during the holidays, we don't do on a regular day. And, and it's basically to have fun for the kids. Like, it's basically just to give kids a, a, an imagination. And I, don't take the joy and the happiness and the fun out of childhood from the kids because I know it's so easy to do and by us being the adults like it's now about to be a new generation of adults so like if the new generation of adults is gonna snatch away all the things that make a kid a kid then you kind of going to get like, they're not going to be like kid children. They're going to be like, kind of what we see happening in, um, around the world. Like we just going to see a lot, it, it's, you know, it, it, it forms something. Like a lot of people don't realize that a lot of actions have reactions. So if you take away a child's childhood and you take away a child's imagination, all they have to see and deal with is real life. And who want to be a kid and think about real life? Because, let's be honest, I had no idea what being an adult truly consisted of when I was a kid. And the entire time I was a kid, I was just waiting to be an adult. If I actually knew what it meant and the things that happened and the things that were said, and what's actually happening in the world, I probably wouldn't have been wishing that, but I also probably would have been scared shitless. I probably wouldn't have been wanting to be a kid. And a lot of time we are exposed, like we feel like we're exposing them and we're exposing the lies. But truth be told, y'all, a lot of time we're exposing our kids to stuff that they should not be indulging in or knowing about. And it seems like we're just being open and honest, but we're not. We're opening up a can of worms for our kids to know stuff that they should be sheltered from as a kid. Like, truth be told, I mean, maybe, mm, but a kid should be sheltered. It just is what it is. So I know a lot of people don't like the concept of Easter and the Easter Bunny, but... You're grown. You know there's no Easter Bunny. You know he don't bring eggs and candy. We all know this. I mean, and then you have the people who, of course, tear that tell their kids the truth. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like that's why there's different people. But those who do, like, why if you don't believe in the Easter Bunny, you don't believe in... Why would you bring why why are you why are you at why are you at this event with the kids that do believe in the Easter Bunny ruining their fun? Like that's so oxymoronic to it does it makes no sense. So I just feel like the purpose for one, don't take away a kid's Easter. Don't take away a kid's Christmas. Because eventually it's not like the kids never grow up and never find the truth. They only a kid for a short amount of time. Goodness gracious. Don't take it away from them before it's time. And then second, what I want to say is you being an adult, a lot of parents feel obligated and, and feel like, like I just said my mom did for us for Easter. A lot of people is going into debt and going into holes and digging holes that's so hard to get out of for a holiday. Look. Let's put that behind us. Let's stop thinking that everybody need, like we need something new. Or he needs this and he needs that. If you, if it's not in your budget, if it's not your lifestyle, if it's not, if you're not able to do it, Easter shouldn't make you able to do it. You're just not able to do it. So you find something fun and free. Most Easter egg hunts are fun and free. And then they feed the kids. You get hot dogs, you get drinks, you get sodas. And then you take your kids to those type of events where they can have fun, run around, and be a kid. And then if you have the type of family that, or friends, that 
frowns up at you when your kids don't have the newest new. First of all, those are not your friends. Second of all, you need to get a new click. Third of all, take your baby out there to the free Easter egg hunt and then mingle with another mom that got a kid around about your child age so they can grow up, be kids together, and be with somebody that's non-judgmental. People can be so judgmental. And not only are people judgmental, but people are living their lives and doing things to try to please the judgmental people. And that's where stuff start going very awry and very mixed up. But I want y'all to enjoy every holiday. Let your kid enjoy the holiday for what it is. It's a great thing. It's fun. It's a figment of your imagination. Let's enjoy. Y'all have a happy Easter. And y'all need to tell me welcome back in the comment section. So that's all y'all can say is welcome back Tina Bopper just let me know welcome back and I am back and it is Tina Bopper Tuesdays so I'll see y'all back here next Tuesday at 5 p.m. and I hope y'all have an awesome great marvelous rest of y'all week and I'll see y'all in the next one so other than that peace out bye y'all